Keep in mind that anytime we augment growth hormone, either by taking growth hormone directly as a synthetic compound, or by taking a peptide that increases the amount of growth hormone that we release, we are increasing our tumor growth risk and our cancer risk. And that's because growth hormone and IGF-1 are somewhat indiscriminate in terms of the tissues that they promote the growth of. When people take growth hormone itself, there are common risks such as carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, that has to do in part with the fact that it can potently increase cartilage growth. There can be active changes in the structure of one's head and face and body. There's a so-called um, uh, lean but distended gut. And sometimes people will look quite different after taking growth hormone for a series of time than they did before. It can really change one's stature and, and shape uh, to a considerable degree. It also can create a kind of a, a skin texture that is a little bit unnatural or unusual. You sometimes can see this in people that take a lot of growth hormone.